Hello beautiful people, welcome to Classic Confections. I'm your host Kendra and today I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites in the realm of health, beauty, wellness, a little bit of home decor. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so I love making these videos. I, you know your girl is all about clothing, especially dresses and shoes and whatnot, but I do like to take care of myself. I like to pamper myself. So I have some goodies to share with you guys this month. Starting off with my first item, which actually is a clothing item, but it's not your average clothing item. <laughs> so I got this from J. Crew, and it's this little zipper pouch, but oh, it's a surprise when you open it. It's a poncho. <laughs> I know, completely random, but this thing came in handy. So as some of you guys may know, I live in New York City, Manhattan specifically, and last week there was this freak rainstorm. So if you've seen video footage of people like kind of trudging through waist deep water in the subway stations, um, yeah, that was like not too far, just a few stops away from where I live. So luckily, I did not have to experience that, but I did get caught in the rain. And especially too, I'm being outside more and active with my, my toddler. So I have to be hands-free, can't always carry an umbrella. And so this poncho came right on time. I actually wore it that day. I wore it with a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and I was completely dry when I got back home. I mean, yes, my legs and my feet got wet, but everything else, was covered so yeah very very happy about that i love that it zips into the little pouch so you can just toss it into your bag i toss it into the back of my stroller and it's just nice to have and it's cute it's a really cute poncho so that's item number one item number two. Oh my gosh so before i open it i will show you we're gonna do a little unboxing but this is it so i gotta tell you the little background story about this I have been wanting this piece for years. <laughs> so it all started when Eric and I took a trip to Paris a few years back. We went on a trip to, I think we went to London and Paris. Yeah, we went to London and Paris on that trip. And I went into a little candle shop called Cire Trudon. And I fell in love with one of their pieces. And let me just show you. I have to show you her. So this is the box that it comes in. It's heavy. I had to have it shipped to me. And yes, it is a candle. I kind of gave it away with, you know, telling you Cire Trudon Candle Shop. So let me open her. I'm so excited. I gotta stand up for this. <laughs> Here she is. I love this so much. So this candle, it comes with this little brochure that tells you all about it. But it's called Pourquoi Naitre Esclave. Excuse my French if I'm butchering that. But it means Why Born a Slave. And it's modeled after a bust. They actually have a bust of this, like the stone version, um, in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I first saw it in college and it is stunning in person if you've never seen it before. So it was created by the artist Jean-Baptiste Carpeau. And it is absolutely stunning. So the reason why it took me so long to actually get this, like I said, I've been wanting this for years, is because I particularly wanted it in this black color. It comes, I think, in like a white or ivory color wax as well. So <laughs> um, I just think she looks stunning in this colorway. So I wanted that. And then Another thing, they actually discontinued slash banned this candle. So as we all know, last year was very tumultuous on a multitude of levels. And so 
without getting into all the nitty gritty, um, with the Black Lives Matter movement, a lot of media focus was coming to attention. A lot of brands and companies were trying to do their part <laughs> in addressing the issues. Um, some with you know mixed results. So one of the things that happened was there was a call for a ban of this candle and uh, Cire Trudon actually pulled it. They stopped selling it for a while and I, was like devastated <laughs> because I think it's such a beautiful piece and also too slavery happened like I mean just by getting rid of all traces of it it's not I can see how a slave candle could be controversial I, I get that however to pull a piece of art I don't think that this is glorifying slavery I don't think that this is crude in any way shape or form it's a part of my history this happened and so i don't know i just always wanted to have this piece in my home in my collection i have a spot for her right now that i have to clear out but oh, i'm so happy to have it it is an actual working candle there is a wick but i will never burn <laughs> i will never burn her so yes i am so pleased this thing is hefty they have other busts as well like if you are this is not your jam um I think there's a, a bust of Marie Antoinette. They have also too a bust of Napoleon. And so this is something that Sire Trudon is known for. And so, yes, I am so happy to have this. I will always keep this in my possession as like of just a piece of art that is beautiful and meaningful. And yes, <laughs> I'm so happy. So yeah, that's that. All right, peeps, next up, I want to get into some self-care goodies. So you know your girl loves a good fragrance. And so my recent addition to my collection is Chanel Chance Perfume. So this comes in several di different versions. So I got the Chance Autumne and I love this fragrance. I got it as a free sample twice when I ordered my Chanel cotton rounds, which you guys know I rant and rave about, and oh, this smells so good. The only complaint I have is that it doesn't last very long. It just doesn't, but it's such a light, fresh, clean scent, and I do have multiple sample sizes to keep in my purse if I need to re-up when I'm out, but oh, I love it, especially for this time of year, and I'm, someone who gets headaches from perfume so i have to be very careful about which fragrances i use but this one this one is good i can even sleep wearing this one so yeah love this and then another goodie from chanel you may have seen me use this in my nyc vlog just hanging out in the city and i showed you guys my five minute makeup routine which i've done today as well and that is this chanel beauty stick so this is in blush number 21 and I absolutely love it. So it's a multi-use stick. So I've today I've applied it on my eyes. It's also a little bit on the tip of my nose and on my cheeks. And sometimes I even put it on my lips and layer with some lip gloss. So yes, this is great for those days when you just want to add a little bit of color, a little nice rosy youthful glow, but not really take too much time with your makeup. So yeah, highly, highly recommend this. There's actually a rose color that's a little bit more shimmery that I'd like to try as well, but for now, I'm loving this. And then last but not least from Chanel, uh, I got this little eyelash curler. So I just thought that this was beautiful and it looks so pretty, like laid out with all of my beauty products when I'm getting ready. Now, truth be told, does it do much? I've actually never used an eyelash curler before, so I can't compare it to other ones, but according to reviews, people love this one. But for me, my eyelashes are already naturally curly, as are my eyebrows. <laughs> So this actually doesn't do a whole lot for me. Like I don't notice a huge difference, but I do feel fancy when I use it. I think it looks beautiful. And so <laughs> that alone for me, like feeling beautiful is like half the battle at least. So yes, but if you do like eyelash curlers and you are looking for a bit of an upgrade, highly, highly recommend this one. So if you've watched any of my beauty and skincare favorites videos, you know that I absolutely love this brand called Sabone. So there's another company, I don't know if they're affiliated with Sabone, but like 
they're very very similar and their store layout looks very similar the products that they have are very similar so if they're not affiliated then like <laughs> i don't know who's ripping off whom but in any case, Soapology, when I can't get my Sabone fix, um, Soapology is the next best thing. And so I got two things from them recently. So number one is hand sanitizer. I know it's not the most glamorous thing, but the fragrances that they have are so amazing. So I have one in my purse that's lavender scented. And then this one is the iced tea scent. Oh, and they just smell so good. And the only qualm is they're not so much gel like they're a little bit more liquidy than my normal hand sanitizer so i do have to be a bit careful when i'm using it i wish it came in a spray bottle instead but the alcohol content is high enough to kill all those germs and nastiness and whatnot and it's just nice to pop this into my bag and it smells good when it dries down so yes i love these and then next from soapology one thing that i like about them as compared to sabon is that you can custom make your own fragrances so anything that they have be it their shower gels their bath oils their body oils things like that you can customize the fragrance and so i made my own custom body oil so this is their perfume oil and i love applying this in the summertime i can layer it this scent actually goes well with a lot of different fragrances that i wear so for this particular scent i can't tell you all of the ingredients in it because it's my own proprietary blend it's just for me <laughs> but i will tell you that i started out with grapefruit and then also to vanilla those are the two um, scents that i told her i enjoy a lot and so we came up with this custom concoction for me and when i tell you that this smells so good oh my goodness i love it and it lasts so as compared to like the chanel chance which was like twice the price of this <laughs> This one lasts all day. If I apply it in the morning, I can still smell it when I go to bed at night. So highly recommend Soapology. Um, also to Sabone. Those are two of my favorite like skincare product lines at the moment. And moving right along. Something I've been wanting to try for ages and finally got on the bandwagon, but it's this Brazilian bum bum cream. And so the scent, first off, is amazing. So it has guarana extract and it just smells like the beach <laughs> like it's a great summertime scent and i tried this in sephora just when i was passing through oh it smells so good um as i was passing through and i put it on my hands and when i tell you that like 30 minutes later my hands just felt still so silky and soft i was like oh yeah I gotta have this so yeah I bought it and I just put on a little bit like I put it on my my arms and my elbows and also to on my bum bum <laughs> and it just feels really silky and nice I especially love to wear this at nighttime because it is a very light fragrance but it just feels nice like when you slip into your sheets and your nightgown and whatnot and you're smelling good from the shower and just feeling smooth so yeah I really really like this and then next up with skincare, if you watched my recent morning miracle morning routine video, you saw a little bit a glimpse of my skincare routine. And so I have sensitive skin and I try to be pretty minimal with products that I use on myself. And so I was looking for a new moisturizer, one that wasn't too heavy because my skin, especially this time of year, tends to get oily and whatnot and I'm prone to breakouts. So I just got the Burt's Bees Daily Moisturizing Cream, and this is the sensitive formula with cotton extract, and I'm really, really liking it. It really keeps my skin moisturized, but it's not too heavy, and also too, because I am trying to step up my sunscreen game. <laughs> I like to have something that's not too heavy when I combine it with the sunscreen and so this has been the ticket bonus is that you can get it on Amazon you can get it in drugstores and it's under $10 because you know your girl can be a bit spendy when it comes to my skincare and beauty products so it's nice when I can find a drugstore brand that works well so highly recommend this and then next up is rosemary essential oil so i alluded to this to you guys before but my hair has been thinning at the top for like a while <laughs> and it really exacerbated after i had my son about 
eight months to a year postpartum, I started getting massive shedding. And so I've been trying different things, trying to like pamper that little area of my hair. I even at one point had tried Rogaine for women and that was a disaster, which I might share in a story time at some point, but I don't know, I'm still kind of traumatized. <laughs> But in any case, I have since learned that rosemary, they've even done clinical trials, gives similar results to people who use Rogaine without the like disastrous side effects I experienced. So <laughs> with that being said, I take a few drops of this maybe a couple of times a week and mix it with castor oil. And I've been massaging that into my scalp. So there has been no irritation. I have a very sensitive scalp. Like I, I can't even use tea tree oil. I had another disastrous experience. I should really do a story time because, oh man. Um, in any case, I had a disastrous experience with tea tree oil as well several years ago. But this one so far has been very calming and relaxing. I've experienced zero irritation. I will report back, I wanna give this like till the end of the year. So maybe in the winter, like around December or so, I will let you know if it's actually had an effect on the thinning that I've been experiencing in my crown. So, but for now, I will say I do enjoy the experience of massaging into my hair. I haven't experienced any irritation, like I said, so it's great for sensitive skin. And yes, just a little something I'm experimenting with right now, so. <laughs> Next up in the beauty realm, your girl, I don't have wrinkles, but I have been noticing my under eye circles becoming a bit more prominent as I get older. So <laughs> that kind of just runs in my family like it's partially just genetics, mostly genetics. But I do like to look refreshed and feel refreshed in the morning. So I shared you guys, I do my little morning routine and something that I like to include, especially on days like this when I'm gonna be in front of the camera, um, I like to do a little eye mask while I'm meditating or just kind of doing things around the house, eating my breakfast. And so I got these 24 karat pure gold anti-aging collagen hyaluronic acid eye patches. That's a mouthful. <laughs> And I've really been liking them. I had another brand previously and they looked exactly the same, but this one, I feel like it has, these are more juicy. <laughs> so whatever the serums that are inside of it, there's more of it in this brand than the other brand. Also too, the other ones used to slip down. They would like slide off my face. These do not, these stay in place. And then lastly, I could have done these. You can do this with any eye patches, but I started keeping these in the refrigerator. <sighs> Game changer. Even if these don't even do anything, they just feel so good in the morning. Like when you take these and they're just nice and cold out of the refrigerator, not the freezer, refrigerator. <sighs> it's just so refreshing. And I feel like that alone helps to perk me up in the mornings. So yeah highly recommend these you can get them on amazon and of course i will link everything down below in the description box as always all right guys so next up i just want to tell you guys i'm always experimenting with different supplements and um, things like that so two additions the first one is just these apple cider vinegar tablets so i've been taking these and apple cider vinegar i like to drink that in the mornings but sometimes i don't know it's just like a hassle so i'm always about trying to streamline my life so these apple cider vinegar tablets are much easier to take than like actually doing an apple cider vinegar shot or mixing it into a drink or a tea like I used to do. So this saves me time. So these you can take two tablets one to three times per day, preferably with a meal. So typically I will take two of these in the morning and then when I remember <laughs> and I'm not on the go, if I'm eating at home, I will take these with a meal as well. And I just find that it just helps and aids in my digestion. It also too curves back on like hunger pains and things like that. So I just feel better. Like I definitely notice a difference when I take these. Also too, if you suffer from heartburn or acid reflux and things like that, like me, I get it just mildly. It's not too, too bad, but with this, I find that I don't have it at all. Like especially at night, I found that I was getting a little bit of heartburn and so this has almost uh, eliminated that, plus a few dietary changes, but yeah, definitely recommend this. And then the last product, which has been a lifesaver for me, one of my good friends, recommended i get this but this is the natrol melatonin advanced sleep formula 
guys oh my goodness so i mentioned recently i did a video about my miracle morning routine and i mentioned that when i'm like stressed out or have a lot going on or any kind of anxiety i get insomnia <laughs> i'm a night owl by nature that's always been the case and i have been taking unisom for the longest time as well but this is so much better plus it's all natural and what I would find with the Unisom is that it would definitely put me to sleep. Like I would definitely get drowsy and have no trouble falling asleep. But I found that I would wake up still at like 3, 4, even 5 o'clock in the morning before I was like ready to be up for the day. With this, it has uh, time release. So you take it 20 minutes before bedtime. Sometimes I might even take it like 30 minutes to an hour before bedtime. And it helps you fall asleep, but it also helps to keep you asleep because it has a slow released formula so i sleep like a baby since i have been taking these i would say maybe like once or twice a month i might have a night where i still will wake up even with taking these but overall my quality of sleep has been so much better also too i don't feel groggy in the morning because that's another thing if i took unisom i would have to take that like i couldn't take it later than 8 p.m because i would just be so groggy and out of it the next morning this doesn't make me feel like that so if you are suffering from insomnia and you want to try something all natural or just relax at nighttime melatonin uh this is like i said the natrol or natrol brand I'll link it down below, but yeah, this has been such a life-saving game changer for me. All right, peeps, so the next few things I'm gonna mention are not actual physical products, they're more like apps. <laughs> and the first one is a podcast, and it has to do with sleep. I just mentioned I take melatonin, but another thing that has helped my sleep is this amazing podcast that I stumbled upon, and it's called nothing much happens and nothing much happened is basically a collection of bedtime stories for adults and they are written and read by a woman named Catherine Nikolai and she truly has a gift for storytelling so I mean the stories are if I explain them to you they sound quite boring and that is by design <laughs> Like just to give you an example, my favorite one is called Rainy Day in the Kitchen Making Soup. And it literally is a 20 minute story about a woman during a rainy day in the kitchen making soup. <laughs> so basically, if you download the podcast, you can find it on Spotify. I'll link that down below. But she reads the stories twice. So they're about 10 minutes long ish. And she'll read it first and then she'll read it a second time a bit more slowly. And she really goes into like rich detail about like the sights, the smells, and just the, the sensations while she's either cooking or gardening or going to the yoga studio. So all just like peaceful, albeit mundane activities, but they're very idyllic. And I just, and her voice is very soothing as well. I feel like her and NDGT, Neil deGrasse Tyson, are some of my favorite voices to listen to as I sleep. <laughs> so yes, they have really been a help for me. So you can listen to the podcast version for free on Spotify, but she also has an audiobook called nothing much happens that has I think about 16 additional stories that are not on the podcast so I love the audiobook because you know with podcasts you get that little commercial in the beginning of every episode that kind of like takes you out of um out of the scene so I prefer the audiobook but what I love about the podcast is that there's constantly new stories being added and they're all seasonal so yeah if you are having trouble sleeping at night I would say melatonin and nothing much happens are good to go <laughs> next up another app that i want to talk about is mojo so you know your girl is like a social media i don't know connoisseur i do the youtube thing i try to do the instagram thing and i'm trying to do the tiktok thing 
<laughs> and the reels thing and all those things. So any case, Mojo is an app that I've been using recently to kind of add a little bit of extra zhuzh to my content on social media. And I've really been loving it. Like I'm able to do some cool transitions and graphics and whatnot. And I can just sit on my couch and make a cute looking video intro. Like I've been using it for a lot of the video intros I've been doing on this channel. So let me know if you guys have noticed and appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so I do the paid version of the app. I think it's like maybe 10 bucks a month or something like that, or maybe $35 one time. I don't know. But in any case, <laughs> I'll link the information down below. But yeah, I really, really like it. I think it looks very sleek and professional. And it's just adding like a little extra nice touch to my social media content. And then last but not least, you know your girl loves a good murder mystery. I share with you guys a few of my favorite uh, murder mysteries that I've been reading lately and listening to in audiobooks. But another app, I guess, that I've been enjoying on for my Fire TV is BritBox. Brit Box is like just a vast collection of uh, British TV shows and movies. So I really liked, of course, Poirot. Um, I've been watching uh, Miss Marple. There's another one, Midsummer Murders. There's like oh, so many shows to choose from. But yeah, Brit Box is one of my favorite channels to watch on Fire TV. I think that that is it. So yes, those are all my favorites, all the things that I have been loving lately. I know we kind of uh, did the gamut, so there was a lot of things that I shared with you guys, but I will put details down below if you wanna check out anything that I mentioned. And if there's something that you've been loving lately that seems like it might be up your girl's alley, please let me know. I'm always looking to try and experience new things. And as always, I just wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in, listening to me talk about random stuff. <laughs> I love making these videos and I love you guys so much for tuning into my little corner of YouTube. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I put out videos on beauty, fashion, lifestyle weekly, sometimes twice. And as always, until next time, stay classy and stay fabulous.